Good morning children. This is JC Benoy, your SST teacher. I hope you are all doing well and are being safe. Okay? Do not go out of the house unnecessarily. Do not disturb your parents by being stubborn. Learn to play some new games and stay at home safe. All right? Okay. Now we are going to continue with our chapter. What is the name of the chapter? Do you all remember? Okay? We were learning about rotation and revolution. Okay, and we had completed the topics of rotation and revolution and we learned that the earth rotates around its own axis and revolves around the sun. So these are the two movements. Okay, now today we are going to see how seasons are caused on earth. You know we experience seasons on earth. Yes, Can I, uh, what are the seasons that we experience? We experience summer, winter, spring and autumn. Correct? These are the four distinct seasons we experience on earth. Now, how do these how are these seasons caused? These seasons are caused because of the revolution of the earth. Do you all remember what is revolution? Revolution is the movement of the earth around the sun in its own orbit. Okay. The path on which this earth is moving is called the orbit. Is the sun moving? No, the sun is in the middle, it is not moving. So, what is moving? The earth. Okay, so the earth is revolving around the sun, and the path on which it moves is called the orbit. We had seen this in the previous lesson, previous video. Sorry. Okay, now in this image, you will see that we have the seasons. Can you see the tilt of the earth? Yeah, remember that the earth's axis is tilted at a degree of 23 and a half okay so because of that the earth is tilted so it's not sidha it is tera okay slanting correct so that is what this image shows and the portion which is closer to the sun experiences day and the portion which is away from the sun experiences night okay so now what are we going to see? So now we're going to see how the earth is experiencing different seasons because of its position to the sun. Okay. Now if you look at the picture and focus on June. Okay. Can you see where is the position of the earth in June? Okay. So June 2022 20, I have written over there and it is summer solstice. This image shows that. Okay. So what does that mean? Now it means that the North Pole is closer to the sun correct do you all know where is the north pole see i've marked it up there on top okay the red marking on top okay of the earth is showing north pole now is this north pole on june 2022 20, closer to the sun or away from the sun closer correct so when the northern hemisphere and the north pole lean towards the sun when they're closer to the sun where is the southern hemisphere? The southern hemisphere is away from the sun. Can you see it is in the dark? Yes, can you see that? So the south pole or the southern hemisphere is away from the sun and it is dark over there. Okay, whereas the north, northern hemisphere and the north pole is receiving, receiving more sun rays. So which season do you think they are going to get because of more sun rays? Which season do we experience summer? And it is very hot correct so then the northern hemisphere is going to experience summer because it is closer to the sun obviously okay when is this happening it is happening on june 2022 20, it is the closest okay the lane is closest so what happens because of that the earth experiences the longest day in the northern hemisphere on which date does that happen it happens on 21st june when does that happen? It happens on 21st June. And this day is called as the summer solstice. It is written over there. June 2022, 20, what are we experiencing? We have the longest day. When is the longest day? It is on June 21st. And this marks the summer solstice. What is it called? Summer solstice. Okay. Now what happens when the earth moves away from that position and it reaches suppose in December? Let's look at the picture at December. Okay, which portion of the earth is closer to the sun now in December? Can you pay attention? Can you see that? It was December 21, 22. Correct? Okay, what does that show? It shows that when the, that the southern hemisphere is or the south pole is closer to the sun now in December and 
the northern hemisphere and the north pole are away from the sun now so now which experience uh, with some uh, sorry which season will southern hemisphere experience it will experience summer why because it is closer to the sun and what season will the northern hemisphere experience it will experience winter because it is away from the sun <coughs> and the shortest day in the northern hemisphere is 22nd december which day 22nd december is the shortest day in the northern hemisphere and so it is called the winter solstice so what was the summer solstice summer solstice was in june 21st when it is the longest day in which hemisphere in the northern hemisphere and what is it called summer solstice and what happens in december december the northern hemisphere is away from the sun and it experiences winter season and it has its shortest day on december 22nd and it is called the winter solstice okay so this is about the summer solstice and the winter solstice now there is another thing that happens between june and winter december okay so now if you look at the image there is this march 2021st and september 22 and 23 ka picture okay now what happens on this when this earth is moving revolving around the sun the sun is going to shine directly over the equator now do you remember what the equator was the equator is the latitude longest latitude which runs across the earth at the middle okay and that red is an imaginary line which i have drawn it is not accurate but just imagine that the equator is over there okay and what does it show it shows that it is closest to the sun okay the distance from the sun to the equator is the shortest okay i uh, sorry yeah it is the shortest and that is why it is called the equinox what is it called equinox okay and what happens during the equinox during the equinox the length of the day and the night are equal so equal equals equinox okay you could remember it that way so what happens during the equinox equal day and equal night the time of our number of hours and in daytime and the number of hours in darkness is exactly equal okay and when do the equinoxes occur they occur on 21st march and 23rd september okay and solstices when do they occur they occur on 21st june and 22nd december and this happens when the sun is directly above the tropics we had learnt about the tropics in the previous chapter so this picture shows the whole uh, aspect of winter solstice summer solstice the tilt of the earth which is at 23 and a half degree from the center okay the axis is tilted at 23 and a half degree and that is why the different seasons occur okay now if you have observed in these images you will see that the north pole is receiving north pole okay the north pole is receiving continuous sunlight yes for a certain period right from june it's moving on and then when it reaches september it is losing out that sun okay so till that time how will they experience night time it doesn't happen so this is an interesting thing that happens okay an exception to the seasons is the north pole and the south pole now in this picture if you see which pole is closest to the sun the portion which is the arctic circle and it is covered with i mean colored with red over there in the diagram okay it shows you the tilt of the axis now the north pole is closest to the sun how long will it the earth take to move away from the sun okay it will take 6 months it will take 6 months for the earth to move from for the north pole to move from that position okay under the sun okay if you look in this image you will see that again the north pole it has to move away from the sun so it is from march to june it is taking time okay can you see north pole in the march where is that position it is closer to the sun when it comes towards june again it is closer to the sun so that is gradual change that is happening do you think in between the sun is setting no so the sun is not setting so what happens because of that in this picture it is more clear in north pole for 6 months the sun is not going to set so they're going to receive sun rays for 6 months continuously and so they are going to experience which season summer season for how many months 6 months okay 
and what is going to happen at the south pole which is marked in the green okay the antarctic circle there the sun is not going to rise only for 6 months you're going to have darkness okay for how many months 6 months now is it going to be summer season in the dark no so that is why the southern hemisphere is going to be dark for 6 months why is it dark for 6 months because it is away from the sun and that is why it experiences winter season okay so you all please go through these concepts again these are very interesting and fun topics to understand okay please pay attention to all the videos related to this chapter this brings to an end of this lesson stay safe thank you